What's it 2020 elective marks? Question number 13. The marks awarded by three examiners are given in the table. So that's the candidate A, B, all the way to J, examiner 1, examiner 2, and then examiner 3. The question is that we should calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the marks awarded by the following examiners. Now, the Spearman rank correlation is given by 1 minus 6 sigma d squared all over n n square minus 1. So this is a Spearman rank correlation. Now, let's rank the max. Let's rank the max. So candidates, we have examiner 1 and the max awarded are these. So 90 is the highest, so that is 1, followed by 88, that is 2, and then after 88, which is the next highest, that is 72, F, is the third and then 71 C is the fourth 70 G is the fifth 70 70 followed by 65 that's D is a sixth 65 65 65 what is the next 65 so the next one is 41 h h is the 7 41 now we have 38 this is the eighth the eighth the eighth the eighth, the eighth and then this is the ninth uh no e e there's a knife, E, there's a knife, and then the G, the Lewis, G. So that is the 10th. Now let's see the examiner 2. Examiner 2, what is the highest? We are ranking them, the highest. We have 89, 92, so the highest is 92. So B is the one, the highest, followed by 89. So this is. 2, 89, 89, what is the next one, 89, the next highest is 72, third gene, third, 72, followed by 70, C, fourth, C, fourth, so 70, 70, 70, and then 60, Six F F F sixty six F that is the fifth sixty six and from this no no sixty eight should rather be fifth so the D this is fifth and then this one should rather be six sixty six should rather be six so sixty six 66, the lower 66, that will be 40, I, 7, I, 7, 40, 39, 8th, H, 8th, H, 8th, 39, 39, the next will be 35, 35E, that's the ninth, and then this is the lowest. That is the tenth. Okay, now let's see the examiner three. Let's rank them. What is the highest? The highest is 89. So B is one. That's the highest. Followed by 88, two, A, two, 88. Uh, do you have any 80? No, 71, 71, third. So C is our third. And then 70, F is our fourth. Fourth, fifth, J, fifth, fifth. And then we have D, sit, D, sit. Which is 
67, 67. And the next one, 67, 39. I, I, 39, 7, 39, 7, 38, 8, 8, 38, 36, E, 5, and then 15, that is the thing. So this is the rank. Now the next is for us to find the deviations. <coughs> So the deviations of 1 and 2, because we want to find that is the experimental ranks for examiner, examiners 1 and 2. So we have to find the deviation of 1 and 2. So that is R1 minus R2 squared. So 1 minus, that's negative 1 square, and this will give us 1. 2 minus 1, that's 1 square, 1. 4 minus 4, 0, 0 square, 0. 6 minus 5, 1, 1 square. 1, 9 minus 9 is 0, 0 square, 0, 3 minus 6, that's negative 3, negative 3 square, that is um, 9, and then 5 minus, that's 2, 2 square, that is 4, 7 minus 8, that's negative 1, one negative 1 square, 1, and then here this 1, and then this is 0, hence, sigma, that is d, i, 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 all square, this is equal to 1 plus 1, 2, plus 1, 3, plus 9, 12, 16, 17, 18. And this is giving us 18. Now, let's find the rank of I and then the third one. So, R1 and then R2. 1 minus 2, that's negative 1. So, this one is 1 square. 1 square, which is... Um, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 1 square, that will give us 1, 4 minus 3, 1 square, 1, 6 minus 6, that's 0, 9 minus 9, that's 0 square, 3 minus, that's negative 1, negative 1 square, 1, 5 minus 5, 0 square, 0, 7 minus negative 1, negative 1 square, 1, 8 minus 7, 1, 1 square, 1, and then we have 10 minus 10, that is 0, 0 square, and this is giving us what? 0. So let's see, sigma 9 square, that's i, division of um, i, 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 and i, i, i. And this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is just 6. Now let's find the deviation of the second and then the third. So second and third. Now two minus two, zero. Zero square, we have zero. Two minus one, one, one square, one. Four, no, no, let's see. Um, that is the second and then the third. Two minus two, zero, zero square. One minus one, zero. Zero square, that's zero. Four minus three, one, one square is 1, 5 minus 6, negative 1, negative 1 square, 1, 9 minus 9, zero, 0 square, we have 0, 6 minus 4, 2, 2 square, 4, 3 minus 5, that's negative 2, negative 2 square, that is 4, 8 minus 8, 0, square, 0, 7 minus 7, 0, 10 minus 10, 0. Now let's add, what do you have? 1, 1 plus 1, 2, plus 4, 6 plus 4, so that is 10, so sigma d square, that is the second and third, the deviation of the second and then the third, and when you add all, this is giving us 10. Now, the question says, would you calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the marks awarded by examiners 1 and then 2, so our a, i, now we know that special rank correlation is giving us 1 minus sigma d square, that is 6 sigma d square all over n, n square minus 1. Hence, the first one we have uh, the rank, Spearman rank correlation for i and then i, i, so that will be 1 minus. Now, this one it will be 6 sigma 
d squared, but then it's going to be i, 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 all over n, n squared minus 1. Now, so that will be this. This is what we are going to use, 18. So this is just equal to 1 minus 6 times 18 all over, what is our n? Our n is 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, 10 square minus 1. And this is just equal to 1 minus 6 times 18. So here we have 6 times 18 and then we have 10 times 99 because 10 squared is 100, 100 minus 1, that's 99. And when we calculate this, this is giving us, that is 49 over 55. And this can be put as 0 0.8909. Now the second one is the Spearman's run correlation of examiners. Um, the first one, I and I, 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 I. So the run, Spearman run correlation for this, I and I, I, I. So that will be 1 minus 6 sigma d square, but then the deviation is i and the third one all over n, n square minus 1. So we have 1 minus 6. Now what is sigma d square i and i, i? So that is 6. So 6 times 6 all over 10, we have 10 square minus 1. And when we compute this, this is giving us, that is 53 all over 55 and this is just 0 0.963636 our problem you can say 0 0.9636 now the last one says examiners ii and ii so um that is the ii i rank spearman rank collision of the ii and then ii ii this is 1 minus 6 sigma d square i i i i i all over n n square minus 1 and this is 1 minus 6 now what is the sigma d square i and i i which is 10 we have 10 over here so in place of that that's times 10 all over 10 times now here will be, that is 10 square minus 1, that's, so it's going to be 99. And this can even cancel out this. And when we work out this, we are going to get that is 31 all over 33. And this is just um, 0 0.939393. Now, the B, question says, use your result in A to determine which of the examiners agree most. And clearly, from what we worked, the examiners that agree most was the one that we did just before. No, this is the third one. The one that we did just before this, which is examiner. Um, that was the examiner. I. Now, we are being told that we should use a result in A to determine which of the examiners agree most. Now, the first one, that is the ranks, the Spearman rank correlation of the I and I, I was 0 0.8. The first one, that's I and then I, I. It was 0 0.8909. And then the wrong correlation of that's I and I, I. Third one is giving us 0.9636 and then R, I, I, and I, 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 we had it to be 0.9393. So clearly, you can see it says that use your result in A to determine which of the examiners agree most. So clearly, we can see that this is the highest. So clearly, R, I, and I, I, that, that is examiners. agree most that is very easy you see the books on the screen make sure that you get a copy for yourself and then also make sure that you subscribe share 
the link to your friends.